Hi, in this uh, video I'll show you how to properly uh, replace the wire that goes to the servo drive uh, up to the connector. Uh, I'm telling just this little piece because uh, the rest of the cable that goes up to the servo drive it's already sealed it. Uh, you can see the connector there has a little jump seal that goes it connects actually in here uh, so the only thing we need is uh, uh, to replace this wire that it's uh, thinner it actually doesn't have any seal in it so I'm gonna use uh, uh, I found this wire white wire that uh, white cable that has the wires we need it for thick ones plus the sealed a little drain wire I connected here uh, so I can solder it to the ground which goes to the screw on the chassis of the motor uh, but I'm gonna replace this white to end up here in place of this uh, this was a cable little cable uh, to go on the, the connector uh, so I'm gonna do a few steps at a time and uh, I'll show you thanks So first I'm gonna join that uh, uh, drain uh, wire at the yellow wire that goes uh, from, uh, from the servo drive here all together and end up with a little green uh, yellow wire that's on the servo. So I'm gonna have to join that somehow. So let's put some solder on it. So while it's while it's all joined together, uh, we're gonna put on a little sink top so it won't be exposed. It potentially touch something that we don't want to. Uh, now we're gonna need source so I'm gonna use a lighter to shrink it okay we can cut the rest of it here okay So this side is ready to go back, uh, but uh, before I do that, I'm gonna uh, put the other end of it into the aviation connector. So uh, you can see which color goes where in what pin because they have certain orientation. Have to go on. They have a little pincer, little orientation tabs. So you can find, uh, even if you remove completely this, uh, you can uh, see where the ground is. It starts uh, numbering uh, on one way. I think they have numbers. Uh, yes, it has uh, one. two and three four so they have numbers in the, on the connector 
Uh, so you can make a little uh, map. And uh, write down which number goes where. I haven't done that. Let me add this. So I put the numbers here, uh, so it will match the numbers uh, on the connectors. Uh, the way it is now, I can see actually which color goes where. The blue uh, with the blue here, so I know each one was uh, the phase that needs to be. They have the numbering for the connector, and uh, I'll just have to replace here instead of uh, the unsealed wire. I'll put the sealed wire. Uh, but the ground will have uh, the seal drain to the little uh, wiring. So when you open these uh, sealed uh, cables, you'll see they have the four wires we need, and uh, plus a little uh, an extra wire that um, it's for the drain. This should be connected together with the ground, the yellow in this case. And there is three will be the face. So I'm gonna strip the wires and uh, show you where it goes. Uh, before you start doing anything with wiring, it's best to put uh, the little plastic cover so you can uh, screw together back the aviation uh, connector. So just try to make it all flat. Make it go in. So you can have everything ready when you solder it to put the cover back on. So I'm gonna remove the old uh, uh, cables from the wiring uh, instead of uh, cutting them. I can try to remove that, but it's gonna be a little challenging. Yeah, I'll have to figure out a way to clean them completely. So I guess the best way is just to cut the, the sitting out first. So a little knife. Close. Oh, let's try now again. Just cut the wiring. Looks good. Last one. some effort because there's uh, lots of amount of solder there so you have to keep trying okay the last one okay that is So we have the connector clean. As you can see the number in. And the little uh, ground ring. There. Okay. So I'm gonna follow the wiring with the Put the right color in the same connector P 
pin it's supposed to be I'm uh, trimming off the plastic fits one so actually this one the ground I'm going to trip it more the space the ground so I can tie this all together okay So on each of these wires we'll have to put some uh, string tube, like there. So after we solder uh, everything, I'm going to pull them back and uh, cover them so there's no uh, accidents like um, wiring bending and touching so i'm gonna put the ground first which will be the pin one pin one is the yellow i'm gonna put this like that okay let's let's try it So it's better to put some solder on the cables first. So when I put them in, they already have some of that, so they're not uh, splitting. I'll try to solder them. So just gonna put a little bit between them okay then let's put on each one there will take lots of heat but it's all going in okay that's one oh I dropped all the covers um it's two number two is the red so there's that two three is uh, blue so right here The last one is black. Let's hope I have enough space to it. It's going to be tricky, but I'll get it. Okay. So, all is done there. So, I need to use the lighter to shrink wrap them.
Okay. And then all I have to do is to play this back. I think it goes the other way around. Yeah. And then this one secure the wire in the back and to have this ready okay and uh, on the other side just make sure to put back the the cover on the servo a little screws let's make the bend so yeah looks like we have our shielded connectors All right, thanks for watching.